Hey guys, so don't mind the orange feels, it's just the lighting. <laughs> so today I am just going to do an eye tutorial. So I'm feeling like brown, like a brown smoky eye, just like something warm toned, something easy to achieve. But I think, I don't think I'll do like a regular one. So I'm just like, I'll play around with some colours, see how we go. I've already done my base, I'll make sure to leave linked up above my foundation routine that I created this like base with if that makes sense <laughs> but yeah otherwise I'm just gonna quickly zoom you in <laughs> so I've already primed my eyelids um, just to keep ne them neutralized so that the eyeshadow really stands out against them and it gives it something tacky to stick to so to start off in the crease I'm going to grab a fluffy brush and dip into the shade Creamsicle from my Jaclyn Hill Morphe palette and just start placing that in the upper crease area just below the brow bone and I'm just taking it all the way from the outer corner through to the inner corner um, because it's going to be kind of like a rounded smoky eye kind of thing so I'm just kind of keeping that rounded shape but I do still want to focus most of the pigment here so I always initially place my brush down on the outer corner so that I place the most pigment there and then blend whatever's left towards the inner corners and just placing a little bit of product at a time is key to the blending process. It just makes your life a lot easier. And this is just going to be like our transition shade. So it doesn't need to be like uber pigmented. Um, just say so enough that you can see it. And it'll help transition into like the brow bone area so there's nothing like too harsh. So we're going to decide to deepen up the colours now. The next shade I'm going to place is like a deep orange shade. Um, this is going to be Flame Point from Sugar Pill. I'm using that same fluffy brush that we just um, used to apply cream to cool with. And I'm just placing it a little bit below cream to cool so that it helps that transition because we're going to be sli slightly deepening up the colours the further we go down towards the lid area. Um, I'm still keeping it quite close to creamsicle here but just slowly bringing it down. doesn't matter if we go on the lid either, like I'm just going to cover it up later. And like I said before, it is key to just place a little bit of that colour down at a time and blend it out as you go. Um, just because if you just play the whole bunch of colour down, it's harder to blend it out and it looks a bit more choppy and messier. You can always add more, it's harder to take away. Again, I'm placing most of the pigment, like the colour here, and then just blending whatever's left towards the inner corner. And to help keep that smooth blend, I always like to go back in with the previous shade. So this one is creamsicle, and I'm just softening the edges of Flame Point. Okay, next we're going to kind of stick with the orange theme here, transitioning into the browns. So what I'm feeling right now, I think I might grab Hunts from the Jaclyn Hill Morphe palette. It's kind of like a brownie orange tone, like a like a burnt orange, I guess. I'm placing that with a petite crease brush through the crease area. And just like placing it just below flame point in the crease area so it just transitions through so you can see all those three colors kind of peeking through just I, I don't want it to be like stark so I want them to kind of like just fade into one another so it's like you don't know where one color begins the other ends kind of thing it just kind of all melts together and then like I said before I like to go back in with those previous shades to help the blending process so I'm just taking Flame Point here on that fluffy brush that we used originally and buffing out the edges of Hunts. And then going back in with a little bit of Creamsicle as well. Okay, for the start of the show, the brown shade, I'm going to go in with Mocha from the Jaclyn Hill Morphe palette, just this kind of like warm toned brown. And I'm applying that originally with a petite crease brush in the lower crease area just to keep to begin that transition into like the lid. So when I apply it all over the lid area it's gonna be able to blend in a lot smoother rather than just me applying it 
and it being real stark and choppy and harsh it will have that initial blend in the crease and I'm kind of resting the brush on my lid just letting it kind of slot into the crease area um, just slightly I don't want it to be too overpowering I just want it to kind of create a little soft gradient there and then going back in with a bit of hunts on that petite crease brush I'm just going to blend out mocha and then going in with a bit of flame point again so basically like I said each step we do we're going back in with all those initial colours um, to get that soft perfect like gradient effect that perfect blend and finally just a touch of creamsicle just a smidgen Next I'm going to take Mocha on a Morphe MB16 chisel shader brush and I'm just going to pack that all over the lid area and I'm placing the like most amount of um, eyeshadow closest to the lash line so it's the most pigmented and then just blending whatever's left on the brush up towards the crease area. And then just using whatever's left on the petite crease brush and just softly blend, blending any harsh edges. Barely touching my brush to my eye. Barely. So now that we've got like our lid eyeshadow kind of done, I want to do a wing liner but I don't want to use a black wing. I kind of want to do like a gold because I have this um, gold gel eyeliner that I want to try out from Napoleon Purtis. So this gel eyeliner is in the shade Double Happiness. I'm going to use this with like a little eyeliner brush and just do my typical kind of wing, I guess. Oh, it's just such a pretty gold liner. Like, oh, mm. So next I'm going to do my tight line and wood line before I apply some mascara and lashes, just because I find it easier to apply liner before I actually go in with my lashes. So I'm taking my eye coal in the shade Espresso from Makeup Geek. I just feel like it'll help the lash line, like the lashes tie in with the lash line a little bit. And I need to bring it down a little smidgen under the eyelashes just because I'm going to smoke it out a little bit. But yeah, I'll be right back. I'm just going to first of all apply like mascara and lashes. I'm not sure what lashes I'm going to go in with yet. I'll let you know. So I'm back and I chose the lashes from Attitude in the style Beisty. I just wanted something a little less intense than their other selections. Anywho, to finish off with the eyes, I'm going to grab the brown shade, the Mocha one in the Jacqueline Hill palette. And with a Morphe M326 brush, I'm just going to tightly wiggle that colour against my bottom lash line. And just keeping most of that product to focus on the outer corner of the eye and tapering it whatever's left towards the inner corner and then on a pencil brush I'm taking hunts and placing that um, against mocha like blending it out and then finally we're going to grab a bit of creamsicle like just a smidgen and we're going to buff out hunts with that I'm just taking a little bit of mocha again just to kind of bring it back a smidgen and a half. <laughs> just a smidgen against um, the lash line just to deepen it up a little bit like that. And for my inner corner and like brow bone highlight I'm going to take the shade and light from the Jaclyn Hill Morphe palette and just lightly place a little bit of that on those areas. I'm just taking a bit of creamsicle on the, um, to the clean pencil brush. I'm just buffing out the edges of and light so that it's a bit more like smoothly, smoothly? Like smooth, like a smoother blend. Um, so it's not like just a harsh line, but it just blends a lot more seamlessly into that transition colour. And then I just quickly placed on some bottom lash mascara. 
um, to tie it all in, finish off the eyes. Voila. <laughs> Anywho, so we're going to move on with the lips to finish off this eye look. I do want, oh, a brown. I didn't even think about that, but a brown would look so pretty. So, like a brownie nude would look so pretty with this look, but I'm being a bit extra today. I'm going to do like a brown, like liquid lip. I hope it looks good. I mean, I might just tone it down with a bit of like pop of like a like a nude in the center of the lips but we'll see how we go so first of all I'm going to take um, my eye curl in the shade espresso and use that as my lip liner today because it's a nice creamy like like liner and it just it just works really well with my lips so I'm just going to quickly line them and fill them in a little bit as well and then I'm going to go in with the shade Chocolate Wasted from Dose of Colors. It's their liquid lipstick and it smells flippin' so good as well. I'm going to place this all over my lips. So I do really like Chocolate Wasted, but I think I might tone it down a little bit with the Kylie Cosmetics Velvet Liquid Lipstick in the shade Birthday Suit. It's a very kind of light brown, like nude color. Yeah, that, I just feel like that's so much more like wearable because I didn't want to take away from the eyes. Like I wanted to kind of keep it like not as intense, I guess. It is more of a cooler tone though, so I'm just like wondering. Yeah, like I'm digging it. Yeah, I'm really digging like the ombre kind of lips. Like a little bit, a little bit, not going to lie. So, yeah. This concludes today's makeup look, guys. I really do hope you enjoyed um, this eyeshadow slash lip tutorial. If you do have any requests, make sure to leave them down below in the comment section before you leave. Also, it would be so, so wonderful if you guys left a like and subscribed down below to my YouTube channel so I can see you guys in my next tutorial. I love to see you guys join my YouTube fam. Otherwise, guys, I wish you a wonderful, wonderful week or weekend whenever I posted this up and I'll see you guys very very soon Mwah. bye